Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Jan from New York City, and my channel name is Jan from New York City Saves Money. Every time I hear that intro, I can't help but go back to those good old glory days of the 1970s. Things were so much nicer then. Well, at least it seemed that way, right? Okay. Hey, listen, I could tell you one thing that was definitely a little bit nicer then, and that is grocery store prices and prices of things in general in life. I know, I know, I know, I know. That's why I want to talk to you today about spending low or spending no. You know, part of the problem that people have in their goals or so-called goals of putting together an emergency fund or any sort of savings is that I don't know what it is, but people get an intense satisfaction out of buying things. Now, don't get me wrong. It's great to have a great economy. And yes, we should spend when we have to spend. But it all depends on your personal situation. For example, let's say everybody gets a blanket amount of money. No two circumstances are identical. Who might need that money to, let's say, pay off a student loan? Who may need that money to pay the rent? Who may need that money to buy groceries? Who may just want that money or think they need that money to buy a $1,200 outfit that they're going to use for two hours or three hours and that's the end of it? Everybody's circumstances are different and no one here is judging at all whatsoever. But I can tell you this, if you are serious about saving money, okay, and that's the name of my channel and that's the goal here that we should want to direct our minds towards saving. Now, that does not mean deprivation. Please do not misunderstand. Saving is actually looking forward to something. Look at it that way. That's why I am a firm believer of either or of the following, a low spend day or a no spend day. Now, I strongly suggest that you get familiar with your own budget. Don't ask me why, but a lot of people, they just throw caution to the wind. They don't really know what they're doing with their money and months and months go by and then they scratch their head and go, but I didn't save. I can't save. Part of the reason is the person or persons are not familiar with their budget. They feel intimidated or for whatever the reason, they can't seem to face, to face the end of quote monster of their budget. Tame that monster by becoming familiar with it. And one thing I could strongly suggest is this. At the beginning of every single calendar month, assess your expenses, the necessary expenses, and then assess your discretionary expenses. Things you really like kind of don't really need to buy or whatever. And also mark your calendar with planned spending low days or spending no days. Okay. There is an incredible difference between a no spend day and a can't spend day. A no spend day means you have deliberately planned on purpose because you want to and get excited about doing it because there really is a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. That's something to look forward to and keep that in mind. There's a huge difference between a no spend day and a can't spend day as opposed to uh, you really need groceries but you're scratching your head trying to figure out how long it's going to take to your source of income returns and you're, you know, like eating crackers every day type thing. That's, that's not good. You don't want to ever be in a place like that. And I am not putting anyone down who just happens to be down on their luck at the moment, but take heart. All of this can be remedied. You just have to get familiar with your situation and you have to decide, hey, I want to hit that goal. Hey, I can do it. I really can do it. I'm not so feeble or weak-minded. Really, you can resist the temptation and understand that there's more to life than getting a temporary moment of satisfaction of a purchase. You know, it reminds me of like when you're a child. Ever cry for a toy? You want that toy so badly? <laughs> you drive your parents nuts? <laughs> and then finally they cave into it? And then you get the darn thing, and then your parents are watching you having more fun playing with the cardboard box that the item came in than the toy. And then you play with that toy for a minute or two, and then before you know it, you're bored stiff. So really, assess the reasons why you are making a purchase. Is it a want? Is it a need? 
If you sit down with your calendar at the beginning of every single month and never forget that just because your income may remain the same every single month, that doesn't mean your expenses are the same every single month. I often use this as a comparison. For example, consider the difference, for example, between the month of December's expenses versus the month of, let's say, January, right? They're close together, aren't they? You're still getting the same income but your expenses may be totally, totally different. So don't forget to include on purpose a well-planned low spend or no spend day. I could promise you this. I much rather have those days than a can't spend days. Okay, now I'm going to head over to Steve and in this little world there, we're going to talk about more savings, things that we may not think of. Thank you so much, Steve. Hang on, everybody, and don't touch that doll. Let's head over to Steve's Corner. Good morning. I'd like to talk to you about when you go grocery shopping and you're looking at brand name canned goods or any other item for that matter. Always consider possibly looking at store brand or an off brand. A lot of the times there's enough savings that you can almost buy two of the store brand versus brand name. For example, Kellogg's Corn Flakes, excuse me, runs about $3.59 a box here. But you can buy the off brand for $1.69. So for the same money and about 10 or 15 cent savings, you can get two boxes of the store brand versus the Kellogg's. Also, when you go grocery shopping, highly consider using coupons. If you can find days that you can have double coupon day, highly consider going on those days. I hope you'll give some of those ideas a thought and try them for yourself. Thank you. Well, Steve, thank you so much for those tips. And it is true. Hey, if I could double the value of something, I sure will do it, especially during these challenging of times. Okay, everybody, thank you so much for listening. Why? Because we really do appreciate your time. Don't forget to comment below. If you can come up with any reason why you think it is not a good idea, repeat, not a good idea to have a no spend or low spend day, please let me know. I'd be curious to know the answer to that. Anyway, have a great day, everybody. Come back tomorrow for some more valuable information. Love you. Bye-bye.